As part of activities marking the 2023 Mother's Day celebration, mothers of the Catholic Women Organization of the Church of the Archangels Parish, Gadua in Abuja, have reached out to the sick at the Federal Medical Center in Abuja with gift items and financial support. They also visited the City of Refuge Orphanage Home at Durmi, Abuja to show the orphans motherly love. CTV News was there. For members of the Catholic Women Organization, CWO, of the Church of the Archangels Parish, Durumi Gadua, Abuja, the 2023 Mother's Day was a unique one. This is because the celebration provided the opportunity for the women to reach out to the sick in the hospital and to put smiles on the faces of orphan children at the City of Refuge Orphanage Home, Durumi, Abuja. The hospital visit began with a prayer said by the chaplain of the hospital chaplaincy, Reverend Father Chris Ugochuku Ibekwe. After the prayer, the mothers went from ward to ward to give gift items and cash support to the sick in the hospital. For you to support the hospital here. Just manage us, no matter how. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, Daddy. We don't really have much. Well, we are presenting this little token for you to support to the hospital here at the end of, and we pray that the Lord will heal the baby. The chaplain, in his word of appreciation, commended the Catholic women for their generosity to the sick. Two mothers here from Church of the from the Church of the Archangels, Gadua. Yes, they are here to celebrate Mother's Day by reaching out to the sick in this hospital. This is actually the Federal Medical Center, Jabi, and uh, it is indeed a wonderful act of kindness and charity and generosity. This is indeed what the gospel is about, the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, for many other parishes out there, maybe people thinking how best to celebrate um, Father's Day or Mother's Day or things like this. I mean, this is the very Christian way of going about this. And uh, in fact, from what we have done and the people we have gone to see, it has become a point of conversion even for some. Uh, because you could see people who are not even Catholics appreciating, you know, this wonderful and kind gesture. And indeed, just like we prayed at uh, the chapel before we began this um, exercise, we committed everything into the hands of God. And I assured our mothers that their reward will surely come from the Lord. Just as they are wiping away the tears of the needy ones, especially those who are the indigent ones in this hospital, um, so shall God also wipe away their tears, so shall God also be there for them. From the medical center, Jabi, the women went to the City of Refuge Orphanage home where they presented gift items to the children of the home. The CWO president of the parish, Mrs. Rose Imaokolo, who spoke at the orphanage, gave the essence of their visit. We shared thoughts together and um, we, come, we came up with this vision, not only me, because a tree cannot make a forest. Unanimously, we agreed to take up this course on this very day. Um, looking at what is happening in the world today, you know, the global world, we find out that we have lots of lacunas between the rich and the poor. And we decided that we have to visit the downtrodden, the less privileged, the sick ones, you know, to let them know that there are people out there who are seriously thinking about them, praying for them, trying to make sure that, you know, in one way or the other, we, we, we relate with them. So we deemed it fit that we should go to hospital and come to orphanage home, which we are here right now in the city of refuge, Durumi, Abuja. Whatsoever you do unto the least of my brethren, that you do unto me. When I was naked, you clothed my shame. When I was sick, you came to my refuge. When I was hungry, you gave me to eat. And the Bible goes down and says, Now enter into the home of my father. So sometimes when I begin to reflect about life, the totality of life, and the reason why Christ died, you know, resurrected, you find out that everything is embedded in love 
what you can do to your fellow human being. Yeah, this is very, very important, more especially as mothers. And today is our day, Mother's Day. Honestly speaking, I don't know how or what to say than to give God the glory that we, today, that we are among the living as mothers. And I think the little we did today, I pray that some of our people we use this as an example, more especially in visiting these two people or two places, hospital and here we are with in the orphanage uh, house. If you are alive today, it is good for you to give glory to God because some are in the hospital. Some can see, but they cannot say a word. So what have you to tell God? You that you are sound and healthy, you should give God the glory. And uh, our good Lord, who is the creator, is the father of the fatherless. In fact, I am so happy. The place we visit today is, is a lesson to us. Because going to the hospital, at least um, you go there, you see people that cannot even pay their bills. People that are, that, that are sick. But we went there, we are healthy. We went there to support them. We are grateful. In fact, it's a lesson that if you are alive today, it's enough to to give thanks to God. I will advise the young ones to be focused and know that motherhood is not easy. Motherhood is a great, it's a whole lot. And to be a mother is, is, is a privilege. It's a privilege that it's only God that, that can give you and it's enough to give God thanks. The visit was concluded with prayers. <laughs> In Abuja, Tony Abba, CTV News.